Hi folks, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I will once again apologize for the harsh shadows. I do have my overhead light on. If I don't have it on, it's gonna be dark. I don't have any other lighting situation, so I apologize for that. Oh, and I should introduce myself. My name is Mon, for those of you guys who are new here. So, in this video, I will be testing out pestles that I bought from Daiso. This is kind of inspired by Furry Little Peach. I did see that she has some videos of like testing art supplies, like cheap art supplies. And around that same time, I saw these packets of pastels. And I currently only work with like color pencils and watercolor. And those are things I've had for like many years. I have two color pencil packs. One I got in primary school as a requirement for my art class. And the second one I bought from my secondary school as a requirement for my art class. And I have like a mini travel watercolor set thing. And it's so old that the sponge is flicking. So yeah, that's where we're at in my art career. Or kind of. <laughs> Which is why I mostly work with like digital stuff. But I want to like branch out, try other mediums. So we're here with pastels. Um... All of these were bought in Daiso. I have one um, basic color pack of 18 soft pastels. Another supporting slash fluorescent colors. Also soft pastels and also 18 colors. As well as this 24 color set of oil pastels. Or at least I think they are oil pastels because oil is one of the materials listed. Or like ingredients, I guess, that's listed here. So that is a total of... What's 36 plus 24? 60. Um, pestle stuff for $6 plus GST. So I think that that's a good deal. So first things that we're going to do is swatch the colors and then I'm going to attempt to draw something. So these are the colors, white, lemon yellow, yellow, sunflower, salmon pink, vermilion, strawberry, red, red brown, yellow green, blue green, dark green, light blue, blue, ultramarine, Dark brown, grey, and black. You know what I don't understand about this? Why is green in the supporting colours? But we have colours like salmon pink and strawberry in the basics. I also do not know whether they're going to transfer onto the other page. So for now, I think I'm going to swatch everything on one page and then we're going to flip the page. And then just keep using this side for now. Until I figure something out. Okay, you can kind of tell. Not sure if you can on camera, but my paper is not fully white, so I can kind of tell. It looks fine, I think. <laughs> Although, full disclaimer, I haven't worked with like oil pastels or... I don't think I've worked with pastels. I've worked with oil pastels in primary school. I don't have any memory of working with them though, so like... Oh. That's a nice color. I think I'm gonna like... Swatch everything out first and then kind of. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about, so.
Ok. So, these are the basic colors. I kind of just swatched them in order. And these are the supporting colors. Sorry, I'm zoomed in, so I don't know how close I should bring this up. Um, this is beige. This is yellow ochre. Lemon. Fluorescent pink. Fluorescent rose. Fluorescent orange. Hold on, I'm strongly, struggling to read this. <laughs> Forest and orange, forest and green, sky blue, deep blue, yellow green, yellow green, turquoise blue, green, deep green, blue violet, magenta, brown, brown olive. Dark ones. Sorry, I'm struggling, struggling to read this, which is why I'm like reading it so slow. Yeah, so these are the colors. Okay, at first I looked at the pestles, and I'm like, the colors kind of look different from the packaging. But like, I think the packaging is kind of close to the swatch, like the actual swatch of it. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, I think you can see the white a little bit clearer now. Or at least I hope. <laughs> okay. Well, I kind of just removed the product off the page, huh? That doesn't really smudge. As nicely as I thought I would. Hmm. Why did I think these would smudge better? Maybe, maybe they are supposed to, but because it's a cheaper product, it isn't. I don't know. I'm gonna try and swatch these on the same page. Keyword is try. Okay, I don't think these colors have names. Yeah, they don't. So, again, I'm just gonna swatch everything in like the order. Yeah.
these are the colors up close. I think this white is a lot closer to my paper color, I think, as opposed to like this white, which you can't tell after I smudged it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these are the crayons, I guess, or like the oil pastels. I definitely remember the texture of this. I <laughs> I, st I started coloring this and I was like, yeah, that's definitely the oil pastel texture, at least what I remember from primary school. I guess I'm just gonna like quickly point out colors that I like here. This color, this color. I do like this color too. As for these, I like this. And the blue and orange, which is is this sunflower, vermilion, light blue, and then what? What's this one? Magenta and. Flores and rose, as well as light green. As for these, I do like the purples and pinks a lot. In case you couldn't tell what my favorite colors are. <laughs> yeah. I guess... The next thing here is to try and draw something with this and see how I like working with them. clear i'm gonna continue using this until like i either one get better two absolutely hate drawing so let's see which one comes first <laughs> and by get better i mean like like draw better i mean like get better with using these material because i'm definitely like i mentioned i've never used like pestles before all pestles yes but that was primary school and i haven't been in primary school for a long while <laughs> but yeah I definitely need to practice or I guess get used to oil pastels. I'm not a huge fan of like the waxy texture that oil pastels have, 
but I think I don't want to play with them, find what I like about them. I realize I primarily only use the soft pencils for this, which I think I really like how they are on the paper, like how they feel on the paper. I definitely did smudge a bit, but that's because I'm really sweaty and the fan is off because uh, when I film, the fan, the, if the fan is on, like you can only hear the fan and you barely hear me. I'm also sorry if you guys hear like stuff in the background. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I kind of just smudged a little, but I think it's fine. I just drew flowers because th those are things I draw a lot and I think starting with like a new medium or whatever drawing something you're comfortable with kind of helps because if you're working with a medium that you're not comfortable with and you're trying to draw something that you're not comfortable with it kind of makes it less enjoyable so I just have a tulip here and a bouquet of flowers I just like drawing flowers this is also a flower <laughs> Um, he's a little wonky, but that's okay. And cats. A few of my favorite things to draw, except... I definitely do want to work with or practice with all pastels more. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is what I have right now. I'm not sure if this is the end of the video. If it is. If it isn't. I will cut the clip here and you will see something else. If not, um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post new videos every week. I don't have a set schedule, but I do post at 10 p.m. Singapore time. And you know, if this is your first time on my channel, do check out other videos that I've posted. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're in the same setup as we had last week, but you know. I don't really have other content to post much. Um, oh, comment any suggestions of videos if you guys have any. But yeah. That is actually it for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in my next one. Bye! I do not want to break this though. Like, how do I take these out?